James, I don't know whether you heard me there, just as far as those earnings results we have this morning. Uh, any ones that have uh, caught your eye? Yeah, truckload out this morning. So mm. a lot of focus on the retail space. So that's uh, fitting given we had Walmart and Home Depot report in the US overnight, which were pretty good numbers. But here locally, I've just looked through a couple of them. BAPCOR looks like a good result. Um, we've had Super Retail, which looks like a, uh, a very strong set of numbers and uh, vicinity. Um, obviously, the shopping centre uh, owner uh, looks also like a, a pretty good result. So a bunch of earnings out this morning. And CSL is probably the headline act. Uh, and that looks to me like a little, um, a slightly soft on result. All right, um, that's of course as it comes back, certainly as far as its blood plasma collection business is concerned, uh, particularly stateside. Um, James, guidance. Have you seen enough there to, to reassure you just as far as earnings going forward in this current macro environment? Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of um, a number of companies are providing guidance. So in terms of CSL, for instance, they've guided um, for FY23 um, net profit of um, uh, 2.24 to 2.25 billion. I mean the market's sitting at 2.78, so that's a um, a miss to where the market's expecting. They haven't included the Viper acquisition that they have, have recently made. They're going to update their numbers in terms of that, but I don't think the market would have included that in their assumptions either. So CSL guidance looks a little bit light on. Um, BAPCOR didn't provide specific guidance, but they said, um, you know, expect further growth. Um, super retail has um, really hit the, um, you know, looking at the numbers versus where consensus was, the, they look like a really strong beat. And they've talked up the first six weeks of trade um, in FY23 as well. So that looks like a really strong um, result. And we also had ReadyTech out RDY, which is, um, uh, produced a, yeah, a better set of numbers and expected both in terms of revenue and, uh, and and underlying earnings. So, look, I sit back here, Andrew, and think about reporting so far. We haven't had all, you know, we've only had less than half of uh, the ASX report, but so far it's been very strong and there has been a decent level of guidance issued. Are you willing to adjust your portfolio based on some of these results? I think a couple of things that were interesting going into reporting, there was you know extreme bearishness in property, there was extreme mm. bearishness in, in the retail space. And I think both of those areas have proven to be less bad than the market was positioned for. You know, retailers, um, uh, you know, um, going back to Walmart, which I just mentioned, you know, they came out and had double two downgrades in terms of profits, um, you know, a, a month or so ago. They've come out today and, um, you know, things have bottomed, sales are improving and they're, they're, they're saying that earnings won't be down as much. So I think, you know, the, the, the macro backdrop has started to improve and that's flowing into, you know, how consumers spend and how companies, um, you know, report results. So um, right now, I think the market's up 11% from its lows. So I'm taking a more cautious stance, but I think you've got to be, and you know, you've got to have some retail exposure, you've got to have some property exposure. They've just been beaten up too hard. As you say, up 11%, is it a bear market rally? I don't think so. I think you're seeing tangible signs that things are changing. So the big thing is around, you know, has inflation peaked? So inflation ripped high. We're all concerned about it. But there's now signs that inflation has peaked. Um, the same can be said for interest rates. So bond yields ripped up. They've now come back well off their highs. You look at what, um, you know, American citizens are paying for a 30-year mortgage. Um, that's now 1% off its highs. So financial conditions have eased in the last little while. Um, you know, we're seeing Walmart have pretty significant profit downgrades, and now they're doing better than they uh, feared only a month or so ago. So I think things are turning, and I think we're seeing um, you know, initial signs, but tangible evidence of that.